Hello, everyone. I wanted to take a, a few minutes to just update everyone on Samaj Crosby and the things that we're doing to continue to fight on the ground for this baby. Won't take too long, maybe five, ten minutes best just for the update, but definitely appreciate everybody being here, everybody being on the call. So, before we do that, I just wanted to say a few things to a few people who have been on the ground helping us in the fight for Samaj Crosby. Um, we are going to continue to work on the ground, and we've done a... a Ex excellent job in pushing forward for the fight for this baby. Um, from public education to awareness sessions to just making sure that we keep everybody informed. And we really have to stay focused. And our plans over the course of the next two to three weeks are going to change. We are doing some very critical things that we know will affect not just the outcome, but we're hoping to bring a resolution. Um, I know that's a lot to say, but we are hoping and we're seeing a lot of good indications of the work that we're doing on the ground. We appreciate everybody who's supporting justice for Samaj, uh, both all the coalitions who have come down as of the last few days, everyone on the ground who has taken time to really just be concerned about Justice for Samaj and the fight that we have. And that, again, I just want to say as a result of that work, we're seeing efforts. I definitely um, want to say that over starting Monday this past week, we decided that we were going to turn the page and all of the negativity and all of that really has to stay in the past. So. We're going to leave it in the past. We won't even send any time to address anything like that. I would uh, say that there are a lot of challenges in this case. And as an organization, we will abide by the perimeters as laid out, not just by um, the community, but we'll, we want to talk and keep the dialogue going with the authorities of Will County and the folks who are on the ground investigating it. And we're hoping to continue to pressure as well. As you all know, or for those who don't know, we our efforts, and when I say ours, I say it was a community effort. Our efforts forced the release of the coroner's report, which is very important. So that was two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. We're looking for more accolades on the ground. We have a national petition which has gone out every day over the course of the last two weeks. And we've gained about 300 signatures. I think we can do a lot better than that. We have over 20 networks in 20 states. We have Freedom First International. We have uh, the Justice for Samaj Action Team. We have Defending Justice for Samaj. We have a group of, a lot of group of concerned citizens who are on the ground. We wanna make sure that we keep everybody informed so we're looking at uh, ways and communications and pages to really put a, a, a capitalization on where we're going with Justice for Samaj. Uh, the action team, Freedom First International, the folks on the ground have done an exemplary job, but we still don't have results. We wanna know, we wanna get to the end of this and we want resolution. Um, WJOL released, uh, and for those who are not familiar with JOL, it's the local radio station that really does a great job with keeping everyone informed. Well, they interviewed us, um, really have been a great partner in just galvanizing the public and pushing everyone to come forward with information. And they've been on the ground since day one. So we always need to keep this case in the public eye so that the death of Samaj Crosby does not become a cold case. That is our goal. Um, we really hope that it wouldn't, and I, I really hate to even address that, but we definitely want to move forward with a sense of urgency. 
We are working on the challenges as an organization, but we definitely have to make sure that we keep the public informed. Over the course of the next few weeks, you will see national media, more so than you have before. You'll see a big push from international media, more so than you have before. Um, I don't think we've done anything on an international basis, but we have organizations, media organizations out of the UK who will be carrying the story about what happened to Samaje. And we are working with the United Nations on forwarding um, the story with some of the organizations there, including the organization that I'm a part of. Um, I know that a lot of this may sound new to a lot of you, especially the UN piece, but I just have to really lay out strategy as we get it. Freedom First and the team, uh, the coalitions on the ground, the action team. Again, we've been working hard to overcome a lot of challenges and we, we, are, we are moving forward with determination. Uh, I say all of that to say that um, the next few bullet points I just want to get out and then we'll go ahead and uh, let everyone go. But I say all of that to say that um, this coming week we are looking at uh, some major interviews with the team and the father and some of the family members, again, to continue to push on the ground, keep the community informed. You'll see that uh, you'll see that over the course of uh, probably before the end of the week next week. Um, the petition is on the Freedom First page. We're going to ask everyone to share that petition and share the link. Uh, the petition is just pretty much keeping uh, Samaje's case and what happened to her out in the public eye and letting those who don't know continue to get the information. Um, more so on a national level and right down to the local community. We won't assume that everyone, even in the local community knows, but we feel sure that a healthy part of the community knows. So again, we want to make sure that even those on the ground who have come out and helped us uh, in the past uh, for the rallies, we want to make sure that they're informed and continue pushing them. Uh, the action team went out today, a uh, small coalition of, of uh action team members and, and some of the uh, children who actually have been around the family. And that's what we've been doing just to keep the keep the information of Samaje out there. These kids said, hey, we don't want Samaje's name to die. The parents are great parents. And they are actually making sure that the public is informed. These kids are, have, have really, really taken uh the mantle with just being out there and they want to do it. And it's, it's great for them. It's a public service. Um, and they've been a really effective part of our change. And I know some folks say, Hey, you know, we've seen 20 people. Yeah. You've seen 20 people. Our initial, our initial rally was about 60 people, maybe 50, 60 people who are on the ground. So, you know, we're not looking for numbers. We're looking for results. We're looking for productivity. Um, Karen, yes, change.org, uh, was petitioning for the FBI to get involved. I think we should, uh, I think we should focus on that piece. Uh, the FBI has gotten involved, but again, if it's about galvanizing the public, um, and outside organizations such, such as that with a lot of tools and resources will help us out a lot. So, uh, the change.org petition will share that as well. Um, very important that the petitions continue to galvanize the public. Um, two more things. Um, there is a need. There is a need for um, there's a meeting that's coming up on October 17th with the Department of Children and Family Services. We need the DCFS piece to continue going forward because reform has to be at the capital uh, at the beginning of our effort. Reform of the Department of Children and Family Services. And that's where we came into this with. We started off organizing against the Department of Children and Family Services. And as a result of what happened to Samaje, most of us feel like was a failure of that organization. Um, we're hoping and there have been things that we have been told that have been put into place, even as of the last meeting that we went to, which was in downtown Chicago two months ago. But I can honestly say that reform is going to have to happen with that organization from bottom up. 
So it's going to have to be torn down and built back up again. So we're hoping to do that. We want to make sure that uh, that DCFF, the DCFS effort, the Department of Children and Family Services effort is going to um, is going to be very uh, strategic, very organized. So we are looking for partnership of any organizations who want to and be involved or who are on the ground, who have information, who want to partner with us so we can work through that, not just in Joliet, not just in Chicago, but even in Springfield. So that is a, a huge part of our action going forward into the next few weeks as we are fighting for justice for Samaje. Please feel free to reach out to Freedom First International. Some of our officers, our uh, website is freedomfirstinternational.net. You can find us on Facebook. Uh, the action team, Justice for Samaje action team is on Facebook. Um, they're doing a wonderful job. Um, defending Justice for Samaje is just a, another um, group of concerned folks who are on the ground. Um, Monica leads that group. Um, from a social media platform. So we want to make sure that we're continuously pushing those platforms. And if there are questions, uh, feel free to reach out and I'll do my best. We'll do our best to just keep everybody informed, but you will see a faster pace and you'll see a lot of changes over the course of the next few weeks. So um, I think that's really all that I had. I just wanted to do a brief update about Samaje's case and some of the things that we're doing. Uh, if there's anybody who wants to come through, I'll wait like at least two minutes if there's anybody who wants to say anything. Are there any action team members who want to say anything? So, so we want to recap. We want to thank uh, WJOL uh, for the interview yesterday. Uh, that interview is actually uh, on the Freedom First International page. It's actually been shared. So uh, JOL is, WJOL has been a great partner with us. Uh, Scott uh, at JOL, uh, thank you for the work that you're doing and that you've done. And public, keep pushing. Keep pushing everyone in this case, and anyone who has any information to come forward, you know, we always want to continue to keep this case in the public eye. Um, please feel free to inbox me if there's any information that you think that needs to be shared. Uh, Greg L. Greer, that's G-R-E-G-G, -G, middle initial L, G-R-E-E-R, -E -E is my Facebook. Uh, feel free to uh, inbox me there. If there's any information and we're going to continue pushing for justice for Samaje, we are going to continue pushing for justice for Samaje and we're going to continue with the push for justice for Samaje. We pray that our efforts are not in vain and we know that they haven't been. We'll continue going forward. God bless. Thank you.